India's landscape is more than myth and legend, it's a map inscribed with cosmic intent. Imagine a straight line, 79 degrees east, running down the subcontinent. Along this meridian, ancient Shiva temples stand in near-perfect alignment, from the Himalayas to the southern seas. Built across centuries by different rulers, these temples share a secret. Their placement defies coincidence and hints at a lost science. This alignment challenges our assumptions about ancient knowledge, suggesting a mastery of geography and astronomy that rivals our own. The story of these temples is not just about faith, but about a civilization that saw the earth as a living entity, mapped with sacred precision. The evidence, etched in stone and whispered through legends, lies within the precise coordinates of these sacred sites. We begin to see a pattern emerge, a deliberate arrangement that defies simple coincidence. What we uncover is a string of Shaivite temples, each a beacon of faith, aligned with astonishing accuracy across the Indian subcontinent. It's as if an invisible hand guided their placement. At the northern tip, nestled high in the majestic Himalayas, stands Kedarnath, a testament to human devotion amidst the towering peaks. Its location is not arbitrary, it sits precisely at 79 degrees east, a key point in this geographical marvel. Moving southward along this invisible axis, the line connects to Kaleshwaram in Telangana, a temple revered for its unique Shiva lingams. Further down, we find Srikalahasti in Andhra Pradesh, known for its Vayu Lingam, representing the element of air. And then, Ekambaranathar in Kanchipuram, a temple dedicated to Prithvi, the earth element. Each temple along this line is not just a place of worship, but also a symbolic representation, echoing a different element of nature, a concept deeply embedded in Hindu philosophy. The pattern continues to unfold revealing a deliberate and intricate design. We arrive at Anamalayar in Thiruvannamalai, a Tejo Lingam representing fire, a beacon that draws devotees from afar. Then, Chidambaram Nataraja, the cosmic dancer, a symbol of the universe's eternal movement. And finally, Ramanatha Swami in Rameshwaram, a sacred site at the southernmost tip, completing this extraordinary alignment. All these temples, despite their geographical spread, fall within a remarkably narrow band of longitude, a testament to the precision of this ancient plan. These temples, as we've seen, are not just structures. They represent the five elements, the Panchabhuta, the building blocks of the universe. Earth, the foundation upon which we stand. Water, the life-giving force that sustains us. Fire, the transformative energy that drives creation. Air, the breath of life that connects all things. And ether, the boundless space in which all exists. All are bound together by a single mysterious axis, a line that seems to resonate with cosmic significance. This precision, this alignment, is undeniably not random. It speaks of a deeper purpose. It's a revelation of a unified vision, a testament to the interconnectedness of all things. This vision transcends the boundaries of kingdoms and the passage of centuries, uniting diverse cultures in a single grand design. The builders, the architects, the visionaries of the past, were all participants in a grand project, a sacred undertaking. They created a spiritual highway, a cosmic pathway mapped onto the very land itself, a testament to their profound understanding of the universe. To achieve this level of architectural and spiritual resonance, the builders of these magnificent temples had to be more than just skilled laborers. Temple builders were more than artisans, they were visionaries, entrusted with a profound understanding of the cosmos and its connection to the earthly realm. They were astronomers, meticulously charting the movements of celestial bodies and understanding their influence on our world. They were mathematicians, employing complex calculations and geometric principles to create structures of perfect proportion and harmony. And seers, deeply connected to the spiritual currents that flow through all things. Using ancient sciences like Jyotisha, the Vedic astrology, they sought to align the temples with auspicious celestial configurations, and Vastu Shastra, the science of architecture, they ensured that every aspect of the temple resonated with the natural world. They aligned temples with cosmic rhythms and Earth's energies, creating spaces that amplified spiritual experiences. Tools like the gnomon, a simple yet powerful instrument, helped them determine cardinal directions with remarkable accuracy, ensuring the temple faced the most auspicious way, and mapped the land with precision, carefully considering the topography and its energetic properties. The 79 degrees east meridian was likely chosen, not arbitrarily, for its solar and energetic significance, acting as a conduit for the sun's life-giving force. 
perhaps marking a path of potent solar energy, a vital artery in the Earth's energetic system. These alignments may have functioned as a vast solar observatory, a network of interconnected sites, interacting with celestial events allowing for the precise observation and understanding of astronomical phenomena. By building along this line, this carefully chosen meridian, they created not just places of worship, mere physical structures, but acupuncture points on the Earth, strategic locations for channeling and focusing energy, channels for cosmic and terrestrial energy, allowing for a harmonious exchange between the heavens and the Earth. This was sacred science in action, a testament to the profound wisdom of ancient India, blending architecture, astronomy and spirituality into a unified expression of cosmic harmony. Hindu philosophy teaches that just as the body has energy channels, so does the Earth. Temples along 79 degrees east form a spiritual highway, each acting as a vortex grounding cosmic energy. The sanctum of each temple is an energy center amplifying the power of the entire network. Pilgrims traveling this route move through a field of heightened spiritual energy, aligning themselves with the Earth's own currents. These temples are not isolated, they're nodes in a continental grid weaving spiritual protection and nourishment across the land. The alignment is a testament to a worldview where science and spirituality are inseparable. The near-perfect alignment of these temples, stretching across vast landscapes, speaks to a profound understanding of our world. It's a testament to the vision and skill of those who came before us. It is no accident. The precision is too striking, the geometry too deliberate. It's a legacy of advanced scientific and spiritual knowledge, a sophisticated blend of observation, calculation, and a deep connection to the cosmos. These ancient builders were both scientists and spiritual seekers. Ancient builders mastered geodesy, the science of measuring and understanding Earth's shape and gravitational field. This mastery was not for conquest or for mere territorial gain, but to harmonize humanity with the cosmos, to find our place within the grand cosmic order. Their work challenges us to see beyond stone and ritual, beyond the physical structures and the ceremonies performed within, to recognize markers in a grand cosmic map, a celestial blueprint etched onto the Earth itself. The 79 degrees east alignment, a line of longitude that connects these sacred sites, unites science and spirituality in a quest for truth, a search for understanding that transcends the boundaries of the material world. These temples are echoes of a forgotten science, whispers from a past where knowledge and faith were intertwined, proof of a civilization in deep conversation with the universe, listening to the rhythms of the cosmos and responding with structures that resonate with celestial harmony. They remind us that wisdom is timeless, that the insights of the past can still illuminate our present, and that the ancient mind reached for the sky, seeking answers in the stars and striving to understand our place in the vast expanse of the universe, and brought its harmony to Earth, creating spaces of peace and reflection that connect us to something larger than ourselves. The sacred meridian is more than a line, it's a pathway, it's a signature of the divine, a testament to the power of human ingenuity and spiritual aspiration. Etched across the land for all to see, a constant reminder of the interconnectedness of all things.